Diana Denmark here, ra ra ra. Happy Tuesday morning. I hope you're fine and well. Uh, I'm filming in a different area today, as I've as I said to you uh, the last couple of weeks. Here in Denmark, we are in lockdown. Um, the family are working from home, studying from home. So I'm, I'm trying not to disturb them. My daughter has just logged on to, to, um, to school. So uh, and I'm, I'm going to be doing a spot of work in here today in the guest bedroom. I've got the hoover ready, but I'm not going to be vacuuming right now. Anyway, I can sit and tell you uh, what I am going to be uh, doing today. And I wanted to give you a few tips. Uh, if you're like us on lockdown, uh, lockdown for us means that, you know, we're working from home, studying from home. We're only going out if we need to buy groceries, you know, essentials or, or medicine. And I, I wanted to give you a few tips because I, I know a lot of you, uh, if you're not already in lockdown, you will soon be on lockdown. And just to give you some tips of how to move forward with this uh, and how to keep your, yourself entertained, how to make sure that the family are entertained so you've got a bit of a schedule. So I'll be talking about uh, the Fly Lady Camp thing. Now, we've done this before. I mean, we, we started doing it in t April 2009. Uh, it, it's a thing that you can use during the school holidays or right now if you if you happen to be in lockdown. Um, and the other couple of things I'll mention in here is um, I'll tell you a wee bit about what I'm doing for uh, Zone 3, Fly Lady Zone 3 this week, which is the bathroom plus one other room. I'm going to be doing a guest bedroom today. And let's not forget our 40 day declutter challenge. I, I've got a few items for that. Uh, anyway, we're, we're in the guest bedroom. You, you've seen this room before. If, if you've seen my uh, clean with me videos for actually clean along with you, if you're if you're needing one of those at the moment, they're all on the same playlist. If you press up there, the, the playlist will pop up, but you'll, you'll have seen me cleaning this room before. Uh, guest bedroom is very simple. We keep it very simple, just a bit of storage uh, for guests. Uh, the bed and then let me just turn you that way and I'll show and a uh, chest of drawers this used to belong to my dearly departed Danish father-in-law um, most of the uh, drawers are empty and then in the top we've got some towels guest towels um, max, maps of Copenhagen and we flag that I bring out uh, and I normally put some fresh flowers so, so that's basically what's in here uh, and also behind, uh, I won't show you it, but on top of the radiator behind here, I've got a little picture frame. And then, and in that, I've written down uh, the Wi-Fi code, always useful for guests, um, the emergency numbers um, for the police, doctor, um, our address, uh, telephone number of the neighbours, and uh, all all our mobile numbers. So anyway, anyway, let let me go over and, and sit down, and I'll tell you about our having a, a wee bit of schedule. One of the best ways to stop the, the panic coming in is actually to have a plan. Just being prepared, being prepared for things is going to take so much weight off your shoulders and just knowing that you have a plan for things, having it uh, written down also ensures that we can kind of check off the plan and keep moving forward. You know, we're just putting one foot in front of the other, just moving forward, whatever the situation. Uh, now this this is the the fly lady uh, camp program. Now I've I've covered up our um, our family names and information, uh, but you can see here we have been we used this first in April two thousand and nine. Now these days my kids my daughter will be eighteen at the end of this week. And my son is now twenty. Uh, but my kids still talk about this camp that we did and, and we did it during the school holidays uh, this was during Easter holidays obviously in April you can use it at any time of year under any circumstances and it's not just for kids as I've, as I've said before because I've mentioned this in many videos uh, you can adapt it if you are uh, if you are retired if you are uh, you know, go, going on a girls' retreat, whatever it is, you, you can just use these ideas uh, and actually have a plan for things. Now, and, and, and now here I'm not talking about, um, you know, emergency planning and food and whatever. I, I've told you in previous videos what, what we um, stocked up on of extras. Please don't go panic buying. But, uh, you know, if you, you get an extra bag of rice when, when you're doing your, your usual grocery shop, um, you know, that, that, that's all well and good. But I, I'll tell you what, what's in the um, camp journal. And I'll, I'll put the link uh, down below. You can get it from the Fly Lady website. They're the same as, it's, it's a bit along the lines of, you know, uh, all, all the other things that we plan 
uh, you know, the Fly Lady Christmas uh, planning, all, all that kind of things. So anyway, let me just open it up and I'll show you. Uh, but there's lots of um, things that you can read for a wee bit of inspiration. And then there's things that you can fill out, uh, your, your schedule for the week. Now, obviously, this, this was not the times of uh, Corona when we're on lockdown. So it's talking about, you know, going to the movies. But, you know, you can have a movie afternoon in your own home. You can take uh, a tent and set it up out in the back garden. Uh, you know, just, just take the, the ideas and think, you know, what can you do at home? Plenty of, plenty of uh, inspiration. And then you're going to have um, an activity list. Uh, think about what, obviously we, we can't go swimming at the swimming pool right now, though I'm still able to swim in the sea, you know, where, where uh, the swimming pools and whatever are closed down. Uh, but, you know, uh, arts and crafts, you can easily do that at home. Story time, some form of games, whether it is uh, online or playing a board game. A wee bit of dancing to music always gets us going. And um, also we, we did a thing with the kids, we called it a cookery course, where I was teaching them how to cook. You know, uh, we, we've noticed, uh, especially the last couple of weeks, we're now uh, baking more. Uh, and I told you my son, he was baking brownies the other day. and what. So, you know, just let's have some fun with it. You don't have to say, oh, OK, now you have to help mum make dinner. You say, oh, now we're going to have a cookery course and, you know, I'll get the aprons on and, you know, pretend you're doing a TV show. Uh, and then you've got your, your uh, camper chores and, and that's just the basic things, you know, like the morning routine and your uh, evening routine, maybe an afternoon routine. Um, anyway, you can, you can find it all on, online. And we had, um, hold on, let me just, yeah, I've, I've covered up our personal stuff. Um, go ahead and, and make a kind of timetable for the for the day but please don't go overboard with this thing of you know managing it micromanaging it down to you know the exactly 15 minutes and doing four things every hour j j just use it as a guide uh, but but we had a thing where you know at eight o'clock in the morning uh, somebody would get to ring the bell you know kind of like a cowbell thing and oh okay everybody was to get up and you know um put on your clothes brush your teeth um and just just put into it as much as you can of things like making sure that in the morning and in the afternoon that you get out for some fresh air. Now, uh, at the moment, that could be getting out to walk the dog, um, getting out and running around in the garden, uh, climbing up a tree. Uh, as I said, maybe getting the, the, the tent out from the garden shed and having a wee bit of fun with that. Um, maybe you can do some uh, skipping outside and I'm, I'm talking to you grown-ups not not just to the kids just anything just to get a wee bit of fresh air uh, and I've been doing getting outside I, I take my cup of coffee sit outside and have my cup of coffee even if it's cold and you know a bit overcast and then doing 10 or 15 minutes uh, of weeding in the garden so just anything to make sure we get a, a fresh a change of a change of scene and some fresh air so maybe you want to put that in the morning and then in the afternoon uh, and also perhaps after lunch you take quiet time whether it's uh, whether whether you've got kids around or whether you're living on your own where you just you know maybe put on some nice uh, hand lotion uh, read one of those magazines that you didn't have time to, to read before you know just, just uh, Put, put together a little plan. But as I say, don't go overboard with this. Okay, so I know we have that tendency to say, oh, okay, we, we need a plan. And then you're colouring in all the boxes and, uh, and, and driving everybody else uh, crazy with it. And uh, let me see if there's anything else in that. Uh, and oh, it, it, you were getting rewards for things. Uh, well, one of the fun things that we used to do was um, we, we would play a little game where I would hide... Um, hide uh, a, a little scavenger hunt it, it would I, I would hide it in the post box so obviously you don't want to be doing things outside at the moment but you know maybe, maybe you could hide it uh, somewhere in, in a shoe box underneath somebody's bed and they and then they get the list and it's a scavenger hunt where the kids you know I would make it things like they had to find uh, three socks uh, with holes in them or um, felt pens that didn't have lids or uh, five drawings that they didn't need to hold on to anymore 
and the kids thought this was fantastic and they were running out and they didn't realize they were decluttering Woo so a win for mum as well so so make it fun um and, and let me know if you have any ideas for it but as i say please don't go overboard with it and i know you're you're all kind of <gasps> Uh, you know searching Pinterest just now what, what, what can we do just, just take it easy just, just plan a few things uh, for the day and uh, make sure that you keep going with your with your basic routines uh, and I did want to tell you what I'm doing in here today I am going to be uh, vacuuming um, well, once I'm sure that I'm not disturbing the family I'll just check with them because if they're making phone calls and online for school I, I don't want to be disturbing them so so I will uh, vacuum in here I'm going to give the place uh, a really good uh, dust J just like the usual you know weekly home blessing art. if you're not sure where to start in a room take the ideas from the weekly home blessing art you know maybe dust the ceilings uh, down skirting boards uh, wipe off all the flat surfaces not too many in here um and i will do the um the mirror here and the windows and it's funny just be before i was about to start filming i thought oh, what's that noise it sounded like it was pouring with rain outside it was actually our window cleaner where we have a window cleaner who comes to do the outside windows uh, we've got a three-story house uh, and in, in denmark it's a very reasonable price and they have the equipment and the life insurance i would say um, and, and they have special equipment so they can easily do the windows that, that we can't reach. Uh, so, so the window cleaner was here doing the outside of the window. So I'm, I'm going to do the inside in here. Um, oh, and let me just show you declutter item for today. Just hold on. Ta-da! We are on to day 21. Woohoo! Go us. And, and thanks everybody who's still posting on Instagram. You, you can put your pictures on the hashtag Diane in Denmark and then I can see what you are, you are flinging right now. Uh, I've got one item for today. There, there may be more today. Um, um, a, a bracelet that is just kind of too heavy and it's too cold and it kind of uh, rubs my wrists and, and a bit strangely. So, so that's going uh, to our next clothes swap whenever we're, we're able to, to hold another clothes swap. Oh, and by the way, um, this uh, blouse, this was actually um, a, a blouse that Vibika found a public clothes swap a couple of months ago and my necklace, my necklace I got a clothes swap about two years ago uh, and, and this one belonged to Margaret. Do you remember my friend Margaret who's now back in Ohio? Hello Margaret <laughs> if you're watching. Uh, so it's any time I'm, I'm wearing this something about Margaret and, and I had it actually on a profile pic of something um, and Margaret always comments that she thinks it's so fun when she sees uh, her, her necklace. So anyway, uh, hand, hand on these things, you know, if you're not using them, somebody else will use them and love them. Uh, and also I'm going to mention here, because anytime I make a, a video in the guest bedroom, I always get questions about these two pictures. <laughs> these were croquis uh, pictures that I drew years ago. Um, I can't remember when I did them, it was, it was when the kids were, were very small. Uh, that one is a lady and that one is a man. And it's actually an Icelandic gentleman. Uh, there aren't many male uh, croquis models, uh, but he, he was an Icelandic gentleman. So and, and, and I thought it was just it was fun to have them here. So uh, anyway, and the other thing, oh, um, you know, the family are at home right now. So uh, they are all uh, decluttering as well. Um, uh, an old shirt of my husband's is not something that we can pass on somebody else because the collar is uh, threadbare now. But I, I'm going to cut that up um, today and add that to my wee uh, rag basket for when I'm doing uh, for doing when I'm doing uh, you know the grotty cleaning jobs. So anyway, on that note, uh, I'm, I'm going to get going and then I'll check with the family see if I can get get hoovering. And we'll say, oh yeah, and just if anything that I've said today, because I know there's a lot of new people watching, so welcome, welcome to the channel here. If there's anything, you know, with the terminology, you know, what's she on about with weekly home blessing her and stuff like that. Uh, I have a Fly Lady refresher course. I will put, uh, when I go like that, it means you can touch the screen and the playlist will come up, okay? Because I know some of you haven't been able to find videos. When I say, the playlist is up there. That means if you touch the screen on your iPad, on your computer, the, the playlist will pop up. Uh, I've done a Fly Lady refresher course, uh, which, which goes through all the things, you know, the morning routine, the evening routine. I've told you what to focus on, 
uh, whether you are working from home, whether you work outside the home, whether you have small kids, whether you have health issues, it, it's all in the Fly Leader Refresher course videos. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic uh, Tuesday, terrific Tuesday. Uh, and all I've got left to say is, oh, where's my pom-poms? Let me get my pom-poms. Yep. Live long and prosper. May the Danish hooga be with you. And I shall see you very soon. Okay, blah, blah, blah.